Hi! Welcome to Google Classroom Tutorial for Students. In this video, you're going to learn how to use and navigate through the Google Classroom. Whether you are familiar with some other versions or you are very new to Google Classroom. This will help you get started and have a more interactive experience with Google Classroom. Let's begin! Open your internet browser and type in classroom.google.com. Remember, you should be logged in with your official school account. Your account homepage in Google Classroom should display all the classes you are enrolled in. You should see rounded squares. These represent each of your subjects. You should be able to see the name of the corresponding subject on the upper part where there might be a colorful banner. Therefore, please double check your subjects whether they are in your classroom homepage. Click on the subject you want to visit. You should see three tabs on the upper part of each class you enter. Stream, Classwork, and People. By default, you should be in the Stream tab. The Stream tab. Let us get to know the Stream tab. In the Stream tab, within the banner, you should see the name of the subject in big bold characters with their section right below it. Below the section, still inside the banner, you should see a Meet link. This is the link to take you to the video conference meeting of your subject. You can also click the icon following the link. After clicking the link, you should be taken to another window. After a few moments, your camera will activate. On the left side of the page, you will see a display that your teacher and classmates will see when the meeting starts. You should also see a microphone icon and a camera icon. If you click on either one of them, it will be turned off respectively. Click again to turn them on. On the right side, starting from the top, you should see the following. The Google Meet code, other people connected on your meeting, the Join Now button, which lets you join the meeting officially, and the Present button to let you present a presentation if you are, for example, going to report something to the class. And other options, if you want to use other devices to take your voice, for example. Below the banner of your subject, on the left side, you should see a to-do box if your browser window is in full screen. This is a list of activities you are expected to complete on or before due date. Below the banner of your subject, on the middle, you can post announcements here. Also, you can see the stream of announcements previously posted. The Classwork tab. In the index page of your Classwork tab, you should see the filter to the topics of your class. You can choose the topic of classwork you want to see. 
On the main panel of the tab, you should see the reverse chronological order of the classworks that you are supposed to work on. You should also see when the classwork is due or if it has no due date. Above this main panel, you should also see four links, View Your Work, Meet, Google Calendar, and Class Drive folder. Viewing Your Work Clicking on View Your Work should take you to a window that displays your account picture and name on top. By default, all classwork assigned to you should be displayed in the main panel. The classwork states missing, it means you have not yet submitted the work. The due date should be displayed in the middle column. On the left of the window, you can filter the assigned works as All, Assigned, Returned, and Missing. All displays all of the work that should be done. Assigned displays all the classwork you are assigned to submit. Returned displays all your works that have already been graded. Missing displays all the assigned works that are past due date and you have not submitted yet. The Meet link. This link is the same as clicking the Meet link in the Stream tab. The Class Drive folder. Clicking on Class Drive folder should also take you to a new browser tab. You should see your Google Drive account open and a new folder named after your class is created. You can save your works here so they are always available whenever you are online. The People tab. In the index page of the People tab, you should see the list of your classmates. On the top of that list, you should see the profile of your teacher. There you go! Start exploring your Google Classroom now for a more authentic experience. Thank you for watching. Thank you for choosing GJC.